Hello everyone, I'm Chad and this is today's Interweb Minute. Currently we're working hard on Interweb 17 and right now we're working on the WordPress plugin for Interweb. What I'm going to show you today is you can see we have our own plugin for WordPress just called Interweb and it can display IWML content and it works with our TypeScript version and we're going to be integrating this with our Delphi version as well. This will allow you to use your Delphi Interweb applications and serve them inside of your WordPress site. So let's just do a simple sample here. Let's go to the pages. I have an interweb section. We're going to add a new page. We're going to call it interweb in a demo. And we're also working on, we have some data binding, which I'm going to show in a little bit. Within a few days, we will be able to show a more advanced sample being able to include code directly into WordPress as well. And we can do that, but it's a little complicated right now. So within a few days, we're going to be simplifying that and I'll do a new demo at that time. For now, let's take an empty IWML page and we're going to put it here. Sorry, let's, before we do that, let's put in the interweb tags, the short codes. I have the open tag. Now these can point to a URL or they can use inline content. We're going to start off with the inline content. And what I'm going to do is I have the opening short code and then we need a slash for the closing short code. Now since WordPress eliminates uh, white space, it causes a problem with the formatting of IWML. So to get around that, what we do is when we use inline, we put it inside of a pre-tag. Okay, so that I have my IWMLs put in the shell. This is an empty IWML page. Make this a simple stack. This is the layout. And then we're going to just say, oh, sick of hello world, let's make hello Mars. Okay? Now we also have something called markdown. Let's say we wanted to make Mars bold. So what we can do is we can surround it in brackets. And this B, or you can use the word bold, will make it bold for you automatically. So let's publish this. Let's publish. Let's see what it takes. A that's what it looks like. And there you go. We've just put our first IWM application directly into WordPress. Let's do something a little more complex. Let's add a, a data set. Now what we're going to do is Interweb 17 will be able to bind to data the same way that Interweb 14 does using the connectivity within Delphi on the server side and being able to send the data down. Or it can send it down as REST, or you can hook to any existing REST server that you want, whether it's Interweb or something else in Delphi or it's some other language. So what you can do is, let's take a look. There's This is a sample REST server that's on the internet, and this is the data we're going to be working with. We'll come back to the IWML, and what we need to do is add a data set to our page for it to get the data. So we'll put data, give it a name, we'll call it DS users, and just close the tag before I forget. Okay, now let's get the, the rest call for the data set. Now what that does is it creates a data set called DS users and it'll load it automatically with that data. But now we want to display something from that data. Okay, just put the empty space on the clipboard. And then what we'll say is let's put um, text and we'll say what do DS users dot name. And then just to show us some other example, let's put text and we can mix it up. So we can say your user name is. Now the one up here is an equals. That binds directly to a property and that's really useful because you're not limited to binding to texts. You could bind to widths or all kinds or colors or whatever you want. You can do styling this way as well or you can do traditional styling with HTML. But if you want to do inline data binding, instead of having to combine these in code, I can just put the text and then what I can do is I can use the the same markdown I used above, but I specify a data tag. Okay, now I'm going to close it. Now we need to see what field we need. So let's take a look over in the JSON. And it, it's just username. So let's put username. Oops, I didn't like that paste. Okay, let's call it username. I guess it came with some extra formatting. And I can put in some other stuff. Let's say text 
email let me just double check that it was just email yep it's just email okay so now we have it we have data binding let's update it and there we have it we have original text and we have the data from the rest data set now here I've just shown you simple text examples, but of course we have the, the other stuff that's in Interweb you're used to, combo boxes, list boxes, images, and we also have jQuery UI support. Yes, we have it, and it works in WordPress as well. We're going to get to that in some future demos. We're also working on ext.js and several other controls from Google and so forth. So we hope you like this demo. Hope you've enjoyed it for today, and we're going to try and release maybe not daily, but more frequent videos like this. Thank you.